Hello everyone, welcome to the next episode finally. In the last one we talked about game design. Today we're gonna talk about things. What they are, their properties and so on. Now we have mentioned things previously but what things actually are, well they are basically all the things listed here. There are I believe seven of them. So we have buttons, resources, buildings, upgrades, shinies, achievements and items. Those are all the things in the game. Each thing has properties and components, such as its name, description, cost, effects, uh, and so on. And these properties are divided into three groups. The first group are general properties, which are available to all types of things. Uh, now, for example, this is the name of our thing, the description, tags, icons, etc. And the unique properties are available only to certain types of things. So basically some properties only apply to buildings and you cannot use building properties on for example an upgrade or a button. Effects basically do stuff based on conditions. So we'll go more in depth into each one of these types of properties in a different video but right now I just wanted to tell you that. Alright now that we have overviewed what things are let's move on to thing keys and this is extremely important so pay attention. Right so thing keys are used to create and identify a thing in your code. This is also known as an identifier. Things can have multiple thing keys but they cannot match a different things thing key. Okay this might sound a bit confusing but basically this means that you cannot have two buildings or two upgrades uh, that have the same think key because then when you refer to them, right, uh, the engine gets confused as to which one it should pick. So each thing should have unique think keys. And the section in which a thing is created defines its type. For example, if you create a thing in the building section, you created a building. If you create a thing in the resources section, you created a resource and same thing with upgrades, shinies, items, etc. Now a thing key can only contain letters and numbers with no spaces. So this is also pretty important. Yeah, that should be pretty much it. All right, so let's uh, move on to thing key syntax. So thing keys are declared using the asterisk symbol at the beginning of a line in your code. Now I have also made this diagram that shows an example of code and paste bin and this snippet of code actually creates a building so let's uh, run you through what each property here does. So notice that here we have our section, in this case buildings. So this means that this code will be creating a building since it is inside the building section. Now on the very next line we have our first thing key, so right here. And I have used the thing key brown cow for this particular thing or or building but keep in mind that this can be whatever. Notice that I also use the bar symbol uh, to separate two thing keys for this building and I just use this to separate a singular worm of the word uh, and the plural form so that in code I can refer to it in both uh, singular and plural. This just makes it a bit more comfortable to code. Now next up we have our name property and this basically just sets the name of our building and it once again has a plural form as well, separated by the bar symbol. And on the next line, we have the building's description. Descriptions are actually really useful because you can display many different st statistics inside of them, but that's a bit more complicated. We'll get into that later on in the course. So for now, just know that description basically just describes what the building does when you hover over it, right? And this untick effect, I won't really be getting into it too much in this episode since it's an effect. <clears throat> but in the next one, don't worry, we'll explain it. So here we can see that this code we have explained right now actually basically produces this result right here. So here we have our buildings and brown cows below it. We can see our amount that we have. Right now it doesn't have a cost or anything. But here when we hover over it, we can see this description. So these nifty cows produce milk at a steady pace and make sure to treat them right. Yeah, that should be it for Thinky Syntax, hopefully you understood. So, with the Thinky Syntax covered, let's move on to this video's challenge. So pause the video and attempt to add a building to our game. Now only add a name and a description to the building. Other properties will be explained later of course in future episodes. 
Now, if you're really up to it and want a uh, want an extra challenge, attempt to make the building produce coins. Now, for this, you will need to use the handbook because you will need to use uh, a few things that we have not explained yet. Now, pause the video, attempt this challenge, and if you're going for the bonus heart challenge, I will give you two hints if you feel stuck. So, the first hint is to make sure to use the on tick effect along with yield. <coughs> Now, if you are still stuck, I will give you a second hint as well, so create a new resource with the Thinky coin or coins in the resources section for this. Alright, hopefully you gave that a go. If not, it's fine. We'll get into implementing this right now, but hopefully you did. And let me know how it went in the comments. Yeah, let's move on to implementing the first building in our game. Okay, so we are in paste bin again. Let's go into adding our first building. So, let's make the building section. And I have actually thought a little bit about what buildings we will add to our game, including the upgrades already. So, for our first building, I'm actually going to add a metal detector building. Since they... Well, it kind of makes sense as to how they would produce coins. <coughs> So let's have the name be metal detector. Whoops, not detector, but detector. Or metal detectors. And let's have the description be uh, handy metal instruments to net you some coins. There we go. And really, that's about it. If you went for the challenge to make it produce coins and you actually were successful in doing that, well, huge congratulations to you, but I will actually implement that in the uh, next episode where we will explain what effects are and what they do. So this should pretty much be it. Let's save our changes. So we have our name and our description. And when we refresh our game, there we go. We have our first building called Metal Detectors. Right now they don't cost anything, so we can just buy as many of them as we really want. But that's fine, we'll add functionality in future episodes. And this is great! We can add buildings, hell we could even probably start adding upgrades as well. Resources, buttons, but all of that in future episodes. Right, that should be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. In the next one, we'll explain the types of properties that we have mentioned in this video. We'll also explain effects and we will add some functionality to our buildings and maybe even add a button, who knows. But yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment. Really helps me with the algorithm. And if you really like what I do here, feel free to check out my Patreon. Comes with some pretty nice perks as well. So, hopefully I'll see you in the next episode.